Most people don't know what's inside the old Museum of Art, but go down to the basement and you're in for a surprise. It's the biggest closet on campus and home to anything you could ever want to wear. This massive space contains the University of Iowa Theater Department costume shop. We have sleepwear and then robes and dresses and jackets and matching pants and I'd say there's probably a million pieces in there. That's a guess. And that doesn't include anything in boxes, that's just the hanging clothes. Nor does it include the shoes, of which there are approximately 3,000 pairs of shoes. The shop is currently making the costumes for UI Theater's upcoming production of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. These are the fairies on the side and our principal women. We picked out a few particular costumes in the production that were custom making. We actually uh, picked out fabrics. Um, we had them sent in from New York City and from Los Angeles. It's here, in the costume fittings, where actors are first transformed into their characters. Randrick Lewis plays two. His different costumes are crucial for defining each one. They're living this character. You know, they're, they're developing it every night in rehearsals. Um, so to see them grow and to see them come into their characters is, is kind of one of the most fascinating, fascinating moments. In order for the actor to move around stage freely, the fit and length have to be perfect. This jacket Lewis wears as Oberon, King of the Fairies, took about 34 hours to make. Meanwhile, tassels have just arrived from Canada to be sewn onto his military coat when he plays Theseus, Duke of Athens. Having both of the different costumes be actually put on my body and pretty much near completed has helped me so much. Both of these costumes are going to uh, influence my physicality so, so much more. It's all about making the imaginary a reality, one pin at a time. Reporting from the UI Theater Costume Shop, this is Kaylin Cluck, DITV News.